Okay, I'm sitting out here outside of my dialysis clinic in Burlington, New Jersey. Tall, some tall old growth forest here. And last night, I put together a handwritten study, which is one of the, my most preferred ways of sharing things. This one is called True Ecclesia. Saturation study. Immersions and the transformation vacation. A benefit for all souls, all ordinary Americans, North Americans. A beneficial study for all men and brothers and for women so that the women are supported and supplied and encouraged. Luke chapter 8. Twelve guys living on one bank account and the prominent women saw how much good stuff they were doing and they made, made sure that they had something to eat and help helped them, supplied them. True Ecclesia. I was not taught about Holy Spirit and power. I was not taught about regular honesty times before communion in a home setting. I was not taught about family honesty. I was not taught about the benefit of walking single like Jesus. I was not taught good and detailed gender respect, gender wisdom. I was not taught about the male and female genders. I was not taught about physical self-control and the wonderful seed and the honor of Racham and Rachem, the womb and the mercy. The womb and the mercy is in the woman. The man is the baby fountain, and the woman is the baby catcher. I was not taught about this amazing stuff. The highest attributes of God are these two in the Hebrew teaching. Womb and mercy are what God is, the originating place and the merciful place. And that is literally what the woman is. The woman is the originating place and the merciful place amazing. I had no idea about some of this stuff. All these things I learned after I was 37 years old. I did not learn my wisdom in classrooms. I learned my wisdom by 24 years of observation and participation and the study of revivals and movements and famous leaders in Christianity and also in other world religions, I studied the history of denominations and many other religious environments. Okay, true ecclesia. Separation from all visitors curious about Separation from all non-immersed peoples. There's two types of meetings of true ecclesia. Open public meetings and private closed meetings. Public places and house-to-house -house gatherings. House gatherings and public places. Two or three family men. What is true ecclesia? Two or three family men and all their constituents as the foundation home for Ecclesia. Ecclesia means the ones that are called out of the world into a gathering in a home. Supporting many who walk single like Jesus. So this foundational atmosphere is supporting many people who are walking single like Jesus and orphans and fatherless kids and unsheltered women who don't really have great family with a high purpose and a vision. True Ecclesia. These are all bullet points. 
not in necessary order, supporting many newly immersed people, teaching and training and discipling many interested people, discerning and describing personal remaining bad spirits, demons, discerning our personal spirits that remain after what they call salvation, which is a very tricky and negative term as far as I'm concerned because it's not well defined. Another bullet point, regular honesty times, regular conscience cleansing, regular admitting faults before this communion thing, this body and blood meal, the new holy of holies. This is the new covenant special place, honesty and communion. Next bullet point, asking questions of the Holy Spirit after the conscience cleansing and community, communion unity. Single questions at a time. Where do we know, go next to find a person to refresh who's suffering? What should we do about this relationship problem among us? What should we do about a family business idea? The entire group is asking one question at a time. And then prophetic word comes getting answers. Read Acts 13, verse 1 and 2. Read, read Acts 15, verse 28. This answer comes to the whole group when we're asking one question at a time. And then after the communion time, the prophets are operating and revealing truth. Okay, also in this time, we are admitting our callings. We're admitting our responsibilities both by revelation direct from God and we're admitting our responsibilities for our stations in life according to what is written in the scriptures. So we're, we're constantly trying to listen for God's callings to us and constantly trying to focus on being faithful to our responsibilities because we're all in different stations according to the Word of God. Nobody ever coached me on all the stations of life. That's horrible. It's awful. True Ecclesia. Powerful unity with Christ, omnipresent Christ Jesus, and one another. This is the communion atmosphere cleansing conscience, and then taking communion. No visitors. This is in a home with a cluster of three family men and all of their family people, lots and lots and lots of single people like Jesus. Holy Spirit and power. Acts 1, verse 8, Acts 4, and Acts 5. The Holy Spirit and power is part of this ecclesia. You get used to God giving you power to do things. Another bullet point, outreach. Going out, going out, going out. Going from town to town, like Yeshua said. I came here into this universe, into this cosmos, to go from town to town. Don't get excited about the miracles. Keep moving, keep moving. Go to the next person. Sending out a team from every communion group. Every one of these communion groups is sending out a team every day. Wow. True Ecclesia is formed by sent ones and truth speakers. Acts 14, verse 21 to 23. Study that. Study it really well. Sent ones and truth speakers are the ones that are forming the home communion groups. Fivefold ministry. Fivefold ministry revelation in individuals operating as sent ones, true speakers, miracle workers and miracle storytellers, lovers of souls, local grand pop hearts, and experienced ones, teachers who can describe and tell, t tell stories out of their experience and can teach from the word. Fivefold ministry. 
the Ministry of Widows and Virgins, the Single People's Power Ministry plus children. That is a teaching from Jesus of Nazareth that has not been kept up in any denominations that are alive in the world. Single People's Power Ministry. Okay, also, an agape feast, a banquet, and a worship party inviting strangers to come to your home, to your home, to your home, to your home. The public is, is invited, and then there's a dismissal. And the true disciples hang out, and they admit their faults, and they have another communion time after they have blessed and refreshed all the people that came to that particular meeting. True Ecclesia, a sharp awareness of the wicked demons at all times. True Ecclesia, shared resources. Nobody considered anything to be their own, but they shared with one another as they had need. Good work with the hands, business. Make it your ambition to settle down, mind your own business, and do good work with the hands. Disciple-based business, family-based business. Good work with the hands. And remember, a teacher, a good teacher is worth double the ordinary pay. Double your grocery bill, double your car repair, double your repairs on your house, double the stuff that you buy to put on your body and entertain yourself. The good teachers are worth twice the price of your ordinary expenditures. Separation from the world in key areas. I'm going to put in five here, five different areas. And another bullet point, showing the ability to love all people and all types and lifestyles of people, treating them gently and caring about the fact that God's presence is in every child that has ever been born. Yahoo! True Ecclesia. True Ecclesia. True Ecclesia. That's it, people. Pretty awesome, huh? That was last night. True Ecclesia. Saturation study. Immersions. And the transformation vacation. A benefit for all souls, all Americans, all North Americans, all men and women to support and supply and encourage those women. Yahoo!